This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Monday morning I've just done my run last night I was um, kind of playing around with this idea in the kitchen it's a thing that I've been doing for, for I guess years am I recording I am now but the idea is getting something a little bit more interesting at the pentatonic scale as I often talk about um, there's loads of lessons on this channel if you find the lessons and playlist lessons and licks playlist feel free to check that out um, you could like and subscribe if you're finding this stuff useful, but you're probably doing that or not doing that depending on what you find anyway. Um, Truefire, they're launching the Eric Johnson um, Masterclass and In The Jam on September the 1st for people who pre-order it. You could use the code JNC40 if you want to get 40% off of that or use the code JNC100 for $100 off of their All Access Pass. Um, which will be included in, but it'll be after the pre-order release, which is for early kind of customers, I think. But yeah, check that out. I'm interested in this sort of thing specifically because it's kind of the sort of thing that Eric Johnson might do. Um, and pentatonics are sort of that thing that Eric Johnson really did make me look at again and think, well, actually, there's far more to this than I thought. The tab for this will be up on Patreon as well, but you probably won't necessarily need it to get something out of this. So, the thing that I think is quite important to maybe get away from sometimes with the pentatonic stuff is the idea of just... kind of going straight down or straight up same with kind of any scale fragment um, and we only need one small kind of adjustment to, to make it possible to do this in quite a cool way so if you've not already kind of done some of this work it's going to possibly be quite difficult but there are five positions of the pentatonic scale pentatonic five notes you could start from any of them <laughs> Okay, so figuring out the bridge across the neck of your pentatonic is a really crucial thing. So now then, uh, the backing track that I was playing over was in A major. Um, so we're going to do some of this in A major. So we're going to start kind of here and we're going to be in like our root A major position. So our pentatonic around here. Kind of here so what i want you to kind of imagine doing is that our first string that wherever we start this on we're going to go start with the middle note and we're going to have three notes on that string so we're going to start on two 
go up one. So two, three, one. So you get that. Or, or, depending on. So we get this little fragment. So you've got three uh, on the E string, but we're starting in the middle note. And that's kind of the, uh, the whole idea, basically, or the whole phrase shape. Seven, nine, five, seven, five. And then come back down, seven, five, seven, five, to six. So what that is, is essentially you get like a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, made three into two notes there, three, four, five. And you hear it's got this kind of feeling, it's going across the bar and across the beat because you know where our phrase starts is not gonna land on the beat. We're playing this evenly and then effectively this is sort of like a polyrhythm, or that sort of thing where it's going. Kind of doing this cool thing um not necessarily uh a strict fives thing but kind of gives that kind of fives essence because it's kind of going across the bar like so just slowly bit of a mix up there. One thing to try to do is start the phrase on your ring finger each time. Something like that. Okay, we can move it around to other places or you could kind of do other things. We just used the, the five, the first part of the phrase. That's got a cool sound as well. Okay, or this is the sort of thing that I would definitely be doing. And move up again. And again. That one's really hard. Now you could try in your head saying geophysical with this to kind of get the. But that's just one little thing that I find myself doing quite a lot. And that's the, the thing I want to kind of get into my playing more, make more of something I already do. I think it's quite a, a good idea, things that you're already finding in your playing to kind of find other ways to do that sort of thing. How I'm picking it. So 
legato, so down, up, down, up, up. I hope you'll find some use in that. Um, my camera is being a complete dickhead today, but Patreon will be the place to get the tab and the backing track and um, have some fun with that. Let me know in the comments if you found that useful. You can like and subscribe if you think that people like me should try and do teachy stuff on YouTube. Cheers.